Hey guys, it's Annabelle from The Free M's on Wedding Wednesday where I talk about my journey to marriage and as you know, I've chosen the path of getting sexy. And last week, I decided to give in to the urge and buy some clothes for a night out in London because apparently sooner or later we're going to need passports to get into nightclubs to say that we've double jabbed. And I haven't mustered up the courage to go to a vaccination centre yet to get the vaccine because I've tested myself for the COVID-19 test and they've come up negative. So I think I've got a strong immune system. That's what I believe. Right. So moving on, as I told you last week, I am struggling to face the problem of natural tresses, natural texture. I'm just struggling with it. And I can't fight the urge to relax my hair anymore. I've procrastinate, procrastinated on it though, I definitely have. But I have reached out to try and get some help. So what I'm gonna do is open up this relaxer. And most of the women I have approached with my problem of finding a hairstylist to deal with this damage that I've done to myself. So what I've done is just rinsed it out. I haven't used shampoo for months. The last time I used shampoo, I had an allergic reaction. So I have just literally been using basic soap. So I haven't even done that. For a while i've just been rinsing it and i've just came with it to try and keep my hair strands which have been shedding at an unusual rate for me so this is the diy relaxer kit that i'm gonna have to muster up the courage to <laughs> to use so you've got the relaxer base in there you've got some oil for after the neutralizing oh no this is the activator that you put in the base and then you've got some oil moisturizer after you've dried your hair and then there's a deep conditioner and there is the neutralizing shampoo that gets rid of the relax the chemical mixture and then we have the protective gloves and the spatula but what they don't have is the protective base are you kidding where is the base so i need to buy myself some vaseline so i'll be getting sexy with some vaseline i guess This isn't cool. Usually it comes with a scalp protector. This is not good. Do I even have some Vaseline with me? All right. And the one thing I'm nervous about is because the last time I relaxed my own hair, I had less of it. I just had hair on the crown and the rest was shaved low. And that kept in its natural texture, but oh, I just don't know if maybe the oil boost. And sometimes when rinsing out the relaxer after the recommended time, the texture was still the same, and I just don't want to waste it. What shall I do, guys? What shall I do? I mean, ah, okay, so extras, I will need a plastic comb or applicator brush, plastic cap I have, clock or timer I've got that on my iPod, towels, got plenty of them, light petroleum jelly, so the relaxer DIY kit no longer comes with the jelly, the light petroleum jelly, which is really sad. But everything is in it, the moisturising oil, the gloves, but I'm going to pick some bit I've got some better gloves to use actually those gloves are not sturdy enough wooden spatula instructions which I've got in my hand <sighs> replenishing conditioner and then the shampoo and then the exotic oil boost so they've now replaced 
the protective petroleum with oil boost. God knows what this oil boost is about. Because the last time I did hot oil in my hair, it was for a hot oil treatment. And I don't have all of the tools and equipment for a hot oil treatment. So what is this then? I'm on the English side of the instructions. So apply the relaxer to the hairline last. This area is the most delicate and needs to be treated with tender loving care, which I have not given my hairline tender, tender loving care. I have neglected my hairline and I have to acknowledge that. And that involves walking on the street with the damage exposed, not hiding it with hats, headbands and wigs. I don't say anything about. Shall I do a strand test? So cut a small section of hair from the back of your head. Tape one end of the hair strands together. Set the timer. If it's not straight enough, continue checking every one to two minutes until desired straightness is achieved. Yep, I'm going to do the strand test first. But once you mix the relaxer, how long can you use it for? Let the product stand for five minutes before applying to the hair. I've never done that before, maybe that's what it is. Next, add the exotic oil boost to the mixture. Oh, okay. So with this, you add the activator and the base, and then you put this in, exotic oil boost. What is this? What is in it? This is new, this is completely new. I'm scared about that. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say how long the, well, I guess, Right, now I'm just trying to find out. It says allow six to eight weeks before. Do not store the mixture. Discard of any unused mixed relaxer. Do it not relax permanent hair color. I haven't colored my hair in how long? Wait two weeks before removing extensions and weaves. Yeah, avoid pressing. Do not use anti dandruff shampoo, never have. Do not shampoo before, always known that. Avoid vigorous combing and brushing. Yeah, that's hard. Do not drink coffee. What? That's never been in the instructions before. This is new. Do not drink coffee, so whoa okay so no coffee the day before i've had coffee today so i won't be able to do it if relaxer comes into contact with skin yeah obviously wipe it off be sure not to apply relaxer to the scalp or surrounding skin areas okay so i've got to do this strand test on the same day I relax it. And this one is different because what I've known with other um, DIY relaxer kits, um, and this is no light, you, you can store the half mixture. Ah, okay, mixed part of it. So it means I'm gonna have to use a tinting pot, I guess. My hair is fine, so it says I shouldn't have it on for more than 10 to 12 minutes. But, yeah. Styling options. <laughs> Wrap rollers or blow dry. Neutralizing. Mm -mm. So I have to set a timer. Oh my God, set the timer. 
I usually I used to put it in my hair and then set the timer because it's not really fair. This section is the oh my god, I don't even know if I can do this. This is gonna have to be done, I guess. So that is my journey to mar getting married with the help of getting sexy to enjoy the single stage that I am going through in my life. And I've chosen to enjoy a night out as a single woman, especially now that I'm going to need a passport sooner or later to get into a nightclub to say that I've been vaccinated. Whoa, this is really something. So, a lot has changed with these kits. No coffee before. Wow. And I love my cup of coffee at least once a day. Um, I am procrastinating because these kits are very expensive. It cost me six quid, a little under six quid, £5.50 to be exact, from my chosen health and beauty store. Boots. And I know you guys have seen me try and get sexy with my wig, but I, I just don't want to wear a wig anymore because of what I showed you last week with my hairline. But I just can't cope. Some of the natural styles don't suit my face shape and the current damage of my hair. The current state of my hair, I just don't want to be doing twists, braids and canos constantly. So I am hoping that next week, Wedding Wednesday, I'll be able to move on to another part of getting sexy for a night out in London. Oh, I just don't want to waste the packet. It's so expensive. And it's dangerous as well if you don't know what you're doing, if you can't see what you're doing. But I was hoping to do a strand test, but you have to use it on the same day. And I'm guessing I'm going to use the whole pot because my hair is in a virgin state. Guys. That's me rambling on about things that probably have no importance to the average viewer of a YouTube channel by a YouTuber over 35. <laughs> but, yeah. I just haven't found the right salon yet to give me a consultation. And I haven't found the right hairstylist of a senior level that I could stay loyal to. And then there's factoring into budget, which I'll talk on Finance Friday. Getting sexy is expensive. No. Getting sexy is so expensive. But I've got to do this on a budget. And if I do this on a budget at home, it means I'm going to be using one of these. I failed so many times with these DIY kits and I don't want to fail again. So this time I will be doing a strand test. So I'm hoping that next week Wedding Wednesday you'll see a full head of hair that has had a chemical treatment courtesy of moi. <laughs> 